Hello, today I was going to film 50 facts about me video, but then I thought 50 facts is a bit much, so I start with 20. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. This feels very weird and very familiar at the same time. I've not made a YouTube video in two and a half years, but today, the day I upload this, marks 10 years since I uploaded my first ever video. I did Vlogmas in I was about to try and figure out the year, but it's just this year minus 10, isn't it? I did Vlogmas in 2013, and it was the first time I committed and stuck to doing YouTube, despite people at school finding my channel. But then I stuck with it. I stuck with it through all of uni, and it was only when I got my first full-time job that I found the balance was too difficult to maintain. So when I started working, I stopped YouTube. And I don't regret that decision, but... I'm currently not in full-time work and I thought 10 years was too poignant not to acknowledge. My battery light's already flashing, <laughs> great. And I can only apologise for how patchy the focus is being. Maybe I should just film these vlogs on my phone rather than my camera. Th this camera might not be up to making YouTube videos anymore, but um, yeah, really sorry about how inconsistent the focus is in this video. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to do Vlogmas again this year and I'm kind of kind of hark back to the videos I made in 2013 and kind of echo those. So the first video I made on this channel was a 20 facts about me video, which I filmed on my iPad and edited in Windows Movie Maker, I think. So we've upgraded a bit since then. God knows how much because this camera has not seen use in a long time. With some of those old facts in mind, I've written a new list. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might know all of this. If you follow my Instagram or my TikTok, you might know all of this. But here it is anyway, a reintroduction to Sophie Counts Clouds. Number one, with that in mind, I've been Sophie Counts Clouds on YouTube for 10 whole years. I also have a blog with the same name. I have an Instagram account with the same name. TikTok, I'm Sophie Counts Clouds everywhere, which started because on YouTube, when I was watching YouTube in 2013, no one used their actual name, but inadvertently it has become a nice little protection for my real name. So <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Number two, I inadvert inadvertently made books my entire personality, hence this background. I stumbled across, across Bookstagram and BookTok. Um, it must have been during the pandemic when um, TikTok really took off. But um, yeah, and now I'm really, really into it. Um, and I'm intending to make this channel very bookish themed. And I'm excited about it. Number three, my favourite place to shop for clothes is actually Sainsbury's. I've tried to think of the most random facts I could, but um, my husband very nicely treated me to this cardigan yesterday, I think. Today is my first day wearing it. It's very soft and I'm very excited about it. Fact number four, I actually have two degrees. I went to Solent University in Southampton to get my BA in Multimedia Journalism from 2015 to 2018. And then I got a master's in Digital Media Production from Oxford Brookes University uh, from 2019 to 2020. So we hit pandemic, lads. And I haven't used either of those degrees um, for a variety of reasons. Number five, on the aforementioned blog, sophiecountsclouds.com, I've written nearly 1,000 blog posts. And I started that blog in 2014 um, as an attempt to help me boost my, C not CV, what's it called? Personal statement to get into uni. Um, and it's one thing I've been relatively consistent with. Um, I've been posting basically once a week for several years now. If you're interested in reading some words that I wrote, sophiecountsclouds.com is the place to go. Number six, I've been married for a year and I'm still not used to my new name and being referred to as Mrs. gives me the ick. I just don't feel old enough to be a Mrs. in any way, shape or form. And it's given me a weird detachment from any name because my new name doesn't feel like mine, but my old name also doesn't feel like mine. So it's a very odd place to be. <laughs> I'll stick with counting clouds. That'll do for me. Speaking of my husband and marriage and things, I met said husband um, the day I moved into uni, met him in person. We met on Facebook about two weeks before. We made a video together on this channel where I introduced him as my friend maybe a week or two before we started dating because we were real subtle about it. Number eight, one of the facts I mentioned in the video I made 10 years ago is that I love dancing. And at, the t at that point, I was dancing maybe four or five times a week, not even, maybe three nights a week doing four or five classes a week. 
um, at a relatively advanced level, if I do say so myself, but ten years on I am still taking dance classes. It's not a profession in any way, shape or form, it's definitely not something I consider myself talented at, but it's very much something I enjoy. So um, I take two ballet classes, I take a point work class and an adult class, and I really enjoy them. I still love dancing. I would love to go do it four or five times a week again, but just not on the cards, unfortunately. Number nine, coming back with a bookish fact, I have read 74 books so far this year and I am so so proud of myself for it. It's not just the number that I'm really proud of but the consistency. I've read at least something every single day this year and I feel like it's been really good for me. I really enjoy it. Number 10, um, I've actually been bullet journaling for basically every day since 2017. If you're not familiar, a bullet journal is essentially like a homemade diary, but it's also homemade in the sense that it can be anything you want it to be. So I use it, I started mine because I couldn't find a pre-made diary that fit all the criteria that I wanted it to. So I started designing my own and I've been doing that ever since. And in the last two years, I've been making a real effort to use it regularly and amend it to fit what I need it to do. Um, so I use it to track the best part of my day, I use it to practice gratitude and most importantly I use it to remember when I need to be places at certain times so that I don't forget. Number 11, I'm recycling a fact from 10 years ago that is still true. I still love Doctor Who. 10 years ago was the 50th anniversary and I'd just been to this fancy convention in London. Fact number 12, out of the over 500 books I have in my collection I still haven't read approximately 340 of them. I have a list on my computer of all the books I haven't read uh, and I'm slowly working on getting through them all but buying books and reading books are two separate habits and although I've done really well with reading books this year I'm definitely better at buying books. Fact number 13, I love creative writing, I would love to be a published author one day and I have in fact finished a novel, I wrote a novel when I was just 16 years old so even before I started Vlogmas 10 years ago um, but I've not been able to stick to one idea since then to finish another novel so really working on that, really trying to commit to one thing. Fact number 14, I'm obsessed with tattoos. I think when I started Vlogmas 10 years ago, I was maybe three months out of getting my first tattoo. And since then, I think I have 11, if I'm counting correctly. I think I have 11. And I, if I had the money and the time and the funds, funds is the same as money, I'd be covered in them. Fact number 15, in the year of 2023, I started a book club but it wasn't a book club in a way that I wanted to choose new books to read. It was essentially because when my husband and I got married, instead of asking for a gift register or anything like that, we asked our guests, our guests to gift us a copy of their favourite book. So we would have a little library of our favourite people's favourite books. And in an endeavour to read them all, I started what I now call the Rocket Book Club. Rocket is an amalgamation of mine and my husband's surnames and we seriously considered taking it as our married name but I vetoed that decision and I kind of regret it. So yeah I've picked a new book from the collection to read every month this year and I'm going to do a video covering all of the books we've read this year at some point in Vlogmas. Fact number 16, elephants are my favourite animal and my entire family knows it so I, have, I get elephant themed gifts for every event ever. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a little collection of elephants up here, there's a huge collection of them, and then there's also this one that I have on my desk, which is a clock that my nan had, and before she passed away, she wrote my name on the bottom. You probably can't see it, but yeah, she wrote my name on the bottom so that I would get it once she passed away, and it's one of my prized possessions. Does the clock work? No, but that's not the point. <laughs> Number 17, I'm one of those space aesthetic girls who doesn't know anything about space, cannot retain any facts, doesn't know, can't name the moons of Jupiter, though I think there's several of them. But if there's anything in a shop with stars, the moon, uh, anything galaxy patterned, I want it. I'm a space aesthetic girly. Number 18, my most read genre of books is romance. And according to Storygraph, which is the app I use to track my reading, 32 of the 74 books I've read this year are categorised as romance, but honestly I think it's probably higher. Fact number 19, I find statistics really satisfying, so 
um, Storygraph, the app I use to track my reading, is a completely statistics orientated app and it's the entire reason I swapped, swapped over from Goodreads. But that doesn't just apply to books, I also find my Fitbit statistics really interesting and like my sleep data and my step data, all that kind of thing. Absolutely fascinating. I just love, I love an Excel spreadsheet, I think that's the crux of it. And fact number 20, I should have picked something more significant but I really didn't. Um, I started listening to audiobooks in 2021 when I started a job where I was commuting for about two hours a day and I was driving so I, was, I wanted something to listen to while I was driving and I absolutely fell in love with the format. Even when I stopped doing that commute I still listen to audiobooks every time I go for a drive. I love a long drive because I get lots of time with my audiobook and I'm even getting to a point where I listen to audiobooks at home. One of my favourite things to do, it, well, two of my favourite things to do is either one, sitting with a physical copy of an audiobook and listening and reading at the same time. I refer to it as co-reading, I don't know if there is an actual term for it but that's what I call it, or if I don't have the physical book. I love listening to a book and then playing one of those mindless phone games. So there's my 20 facts and my return to YouTube for Vlogmas 2023. It doesn't feel real yet but I'm excited about it. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. There's gonna be a lot of bookish themed videos. I'm really trying to focus the channel in on books. I'm a bit nervous about this. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go, but I love a challenge. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye.